Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you're a new uh, viewer, thanks so much for checking out this video. It really means a lot to me. And if you're a returner, thanks so much for your views, your likes, your subscribes. You guys are the best. So today I'm talking about my experience modeling as an Asian American male. And my story itself is not that crazy. Like I don't have any twists and turns uh, in my journey modeling or anything like that but it does offer a somewhat like unique perspective. It's sort of a niche job that not too many people try out in their lifetimes. So if you are interested in modeling in college or you know, just as a side job to supplement your own income, then I hope my experience can inspire you to go uh, put yourself out there uh, and do what it takes to succeed in the modeling industry. So in a nutshell, I've shot with brands like Disney, Braun, Hard Rock Cafe, ASICS, Kate Somerville, PacSun, Aeropostal, and Intercontinental Hotels. So I got my start modeling in 2012, which is, wow, so long ago. F you're old. Basically, I was a student at UCLA at the time, and I saw a banner advertising the UCLA Bearwear catalog, which is UCLA's own line of apparel. Right when I saw that banner, I was intrigued. My first thought was, I wonder if they take Asian guys. But then I realized that was a dumb question because UCLA is like 30% Asian. And then I was like, will I experience racism? Thankfully, I have never experienced racism. Um, in fact, the people that I've met modeling have been super open, um, like honest, and just generally accepting of other people. And I think this is because they interact with so many different types of people on a day-to-day -day basis. So going back to how I first got started, uh, basically, I was like, you know, I should just try this out, see if it works out. So I uh, submitted an application and my picture. And then next thing you know, I got called back for a callback session. Basically, the whole audition was just talking to someone about myself and then taking a few pictures with a model mannequin. So I'd never taken photos before, so I literally was super awkward. But luckily, my friend went before me and I saw her... Uh, pose with the mannequin like this. So I was like, I'm just gonna do that too. And that's what I did. When I first got the news that uh, I got the job, I was super excited. I had been a photographer for about five years at that point. So I had a lot of experience being behind the camera, but I had zero experience being in front of the camera. So we were paid $10 an hour. Woo. So over the course of about a week, I made an amazing $150. No, I am being sarcastic. And I got some clothes to keep. So I'm gonna kind of just brush through the next steps. But since I live in Los Angeles, I had friends that were into acting and they had agents uh, for themselves. And they were like, hey, you have a good look. You should go out and submit yourself to some of these modeling agencies out there. So that's what I did. Uh, I got some photos taken of myself from a friend. And then I submitted those pictures to a whole list of modeling agencies. Some of them accept emails, so you can just email them your stuff. And some of them you actually have to go in to an open call session. So I do remember one time visiting an agency with my friend. I got there and they were like, hey, sorry, we can't see you because you're too short. So yeah, some of these agencies can be really particular in what they're looking for. Eventually, I signed with BMG Models, my first agency, and they started to send me out on auditions. Before, I thought like, hey, all you have to do is submit your pictures and they'll book you based on that. But sadly, the way the industry works most of the time is you have to go in for an audition and sometimes you have to go back again for a callback and it just takes a lot of time. When I booked my first Walmart commercial, I was literally like jumping up and down. Yeah! Yeah! I remember getting the phone call at the gym and then I had like the best workout of my life right after that. That job paid me $1,500 for one day of shooting, which was an insane amount of money back then. I'm rich, bitch! After that Walmart shoot, I was pretty hooked. So I kept going on more auditions, uh, booking more shoots. And then eventually I changed agencies to Osbrink where I remained for a good amount of time. And they sent me on some really great shoots that I never thought I'd ever um, you know, book in my lifetime. It was a really cool phase in my life and I'm never gonna forget all the memories I made, all the cool brands that I shot with. 
So right now, I actually don't have an agency representing me. Um, I got too busy with my other stuff where I couldn't really go on auditions. And if you can't go on auditions, agencies don't really like to represent you because all the big jobs um, are booked through auditions. So now I book all my work directly you know, through Instagram or I'm also on an app called NewBook, which is a digital agency of sorts and they help you book work um, through their app Clients can look at your photos and then send you messages and book you directly through there. So if you're in Los Angeles or one of the other big cities that New Book is currently in, I really recommend getting on that platform. Now, modeling has provided income for me, um, but I really do value the friendships and the things I've learned while working in the field a lot more than the money. The type of modeling that I do is called print modeling. So these are like the people that look more normal, they're not as tall, they're not as like, you know, angular with their face and all that stuff. They're more like the normal people that America can relate more to. Without a doubt, I've met some really, really awesome people that I still stay in touch with, that are my good friends. And I encourage anyone that, you know, takes a modeling to, to take advantage of that downtime uh, between shots, you know, meet your other models that are on set with you and build connections with them. One of the coolest things about modeling is getting to see these amazing sets. For my Verizon shoot, um, I remember they booked out an entire boxing gym. We literally got to exercise the entire day and it was a ton of fun. For Walmart, um, that was insane. They basically blocked off an entire residential street and they booked this entire home had these like gigantic trailers for like wardrobe, uh, makeup, all that stuff. And there were just like dozens of people running around, um, all helping make the shoot go smoothly. I've seen a good amount of unreleased products um, and that's always really fun to get to play with these products before they're released. I even got to have my own character in a video game. That was probably the hardest shoot of my life. Um, basically they draw dots on your face and then they have you uh, do a bunch of different uh, facial expressions in front of like 30 cameras or something. It was crazy. Traveling for shoots is also really fun. Uh, you know, they pay for your uh, manicures. They pay for your travel and accommodation and your food. Uh, so it's, it's really fun getting to travel a little bit while also making some money modeling. If you're up for the challenge, modeling is an awesome experience. I really like to have a wide range of interests and hobbies. So that's why uh, modeling is so uh, interesting to me. It's just a lot different than what I do on a normal day-to-day -day basis. Being 100% Chinese, I love seeing people that look like me uh, represented in media. It's just not what I grew up expecting or seeing. Um, I, I rarely saw movie stars or people that I looked up to. Um, and I think that really impacts your self-confidence and your perception of being Asian American. When none of the products or stores I buy from uh, have ads featuring Asian Americans, you know, you sometimes wonder, uh, like, am I good enough? So I like modeling because it really pushes the Asian image out there. And throughout the last few years, we've seen so much progress with Asian people in uh, entertainment. Uh, so I, it's really cool to see that type of progress being made. If you guys are interested in modeling, please comment below. I respond to all the comments on my videos and I'd love to hear from you guys. We deserve that type of representation in media and in ads, uh, whatever you have it print. So if you are Asian and you want to kind of, you know, put yourself out there, I really recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me this long. Um, if you like the video, if you found it informative, please hit that like button. Every like really helps me out in putting out more content just like this. Um, and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this. I'll see you guys next time.